Queen. Queen. Yes, Queen. Oh, hello. Thank you for tuning in. You are listening to. Que la que hay corillo, Mr. Mambo Teo here, and welcome to Mambo Teo Radio. What is Mambo Teo Radio, and what am I going to be doing here? Well, mostly for now, I'm going to do a, a lot of reacts to music, music videos, any live concerts. Any of you guys uh, want to send me some recommendation on reacts, send them below in the comments and I'll consider it. I'll probably react to anything except trap from nowadays and no reggaeton. I just don't fuck with those. Sorry, guys. Listen to something else. There's a lot of more music out there. Uh, probably a lot of these videos I'm going to show you now, I have already reacted to them. I have already seen them, but I love them so much. It, they make me feel the same way like when I watch them for the first time. And I have a little bit of more knowledge of old music. You know, if you want to come here for more than just react and learn like a little bit more, you know, I'm not like a knowledge freak about, I don't know everything about music in the past, but you know, doing the Mambo Teo uh, radio for Instagram for the past three years. I have learned uh, a lot about music history. I also eventually want to bring some mixes because, you know, I've been mixing since 2016 and, uh, you know, Maria destroyed all my equipment and uh, I lost all my music. So I don't have any more music now. So I do want to bring those mixes eventually. The music is expensive, so I'm slowly collecting again. Yeah, if you want to help uh, any way of fashion on that, I'll be making a Patreon and the link will be in the description below. Today, we're going to be reacting to Susie and the Manchies icon. The live show from July 10th, nine, uh, no, no, July 10th, 2002 on the seven year itch tour. If I'm mistaken, I think that was the tour name. Susie and the Banshees, they were a new wave punk rock band from the 80s and late 70s. You know, Susie, she's an OG women punk rock front woman. I think her name is Susie Sue, if I'm mistaken. I know that Robert Smith from The Cure, you should play with them. Robert Smith used to play like in three other bands while touring at the same time. That guy's an absolute legend. But I think Robert Smith also and Susie you should date. I'm not sure. All you rock and roll nerds out there, please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, Susie and the Banshees, like that band, uh, it's probably one of my favorite punk rock, like like women singer punk rock bands. Just the way like that feeling she gave with her music, with her voice is there's no other like like it, you know, and she is amazing. She is amazing. She's still alive as well, if I'm mistaken. This is 2002, this is not in the 80s or in the late 70s, so she's a little bit older, but she still has that that voice, you know, that's it's so good. But anyways, guys, before we get to it, before we get to it, a quick little disclaimer. Oh, hello there. Here to let you know that Mambo Teo Radio owns none of this content that he is about to react to. This video is purely for entertainment and educational purposes only. Therefore, all copyright owners have rights to this content. The whole point of this channel is to learn, enjoy, relax, and build new music. Back to you, Mambo Teo. All right, guys. Let's get to it. Susie and the Banshees. Icon. 2002, the 10th of July. Look at that. She already looks like an icon. The way it's starting and the way she's posing, like icon, man. She's an icon. She's like definition of an icon. Does that voice is so heavenly? It's so, it's so unique. It just it gives a feel to the song. It's like no other. I don't know how to explain it. I'm really bad with words, guys. I imagine I'm gonna get I'm gonna get better as as I do these, but I'm really bad with the words. I'm all about listening and hearing, 
and looking and looking and observing details than actually sharing and expressing and speaking. You know, uh, it's always been one of my problems. I've gotten better over the years to grow. Yeah, guys, uh, it's, it's nothing like it. It's just the way it makes she makes you she makes that song feel that aura that this the feeling. There's ah, so there's nothing like it. Nothing like other. None like other. This guitar sound that we were making, it's just amazing, man. Amazing. So much, so unique, especially for those times in the 80s. And so people think, like, oh, no, that music was just in the right time. I mean, looking at it, like, yeah, sure, you might, you can say that, but I disagree. I think, like, all this music came out in the late 60s and and the 70s and the 80s, mainly the 70s and late 60s, all that just music was music before that. It was mainly the jazz, like folky, you know, like it was it was very monotone, like very like it was very similar all the way. It was kind of like um, like orchestraic, you know, like the music. Um, I know I could sound like a fucking idiot right now. I'm just trying to explain myself as much as, as best as I can. But and then there was like suddenly a boom in the 60s and the 70s where just everything is a massive change. And it has and I feel like it has to do a mix with like we yeah, like what, what was going politically, uh, with the Cold War and everything. And it was like a whole new generation that came out after the second uh, of the third World War II where they could finally like relax and play, you know, like it wasn't just black and white. There, there was other like sides to, to working and to a story. It wasn't just one way or another. And I feel like the 60s was like the shout, you know, the anger that it doesn't have to be like that anymore. And that's where punk came and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then in the 70s, it was more like, all right, we got the shout done. So in the 70s, it started like, oh, peace and love. And um, there was more, there was more ways to work than just, than just the way it was in the 50s and stuff. Um, there was more to life, you know? And 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 I feel like it has to do a lot of, like, it has to do with mixtures of politics and the way the, the war was going on. And and a lot of new drugs, a lot of new drugs was coming out in those times as well. So I feel like that has influenced a lot as well in, in, the, in the culture and the music culture and the art culture. Um, but yeah, guys. Look at that, look at that goddess.
Are gone, fallen from the spires. God, what a voice, guys. What a voice, such a heavenly voice. The way she just like, I don't know if this is performances, but she looks like she's having fun still out there. Like she's like, she's just being a nice, she's just being a cool, joyful girl, just playing in the stage and just having fun. And that's what, that's what it's all about, guys. Just have fun. And you can see that like, she's just, she seems like a goddess. She seems like an icon. She, cause she is. But at the same time, you can see how she's just having fun up there. Cause that's all, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Just have fun. And the crowd feels that, the crowd feels that, guys. If, 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 if they're having fun, the crowd is having fun. Queen, Queen, yes, Queen, <laughs> Queen, absolute Queen. Oh God, guys! If you have any other recommendations, do you want any other music videos, music lives, or just music you want me to react to? Just put her down in the comments. Anything but trap or reggaeton. No trap or reggaeton, please. I'll take hip hop. You know, if you got those hip hop. Chill vibes. I'll take. I'll react to it, guys. I don't react to any like mainstream pop either, guys. Come on. There's, there's, there's many other music out there. G get exploring. It's a lot of music out there. If if you don't know where to start, start on my Instagram page. I put music there every day just to diversify your music library. Thank you guys for tuning in again to Mambo Reacts. This is Mambo Tail. This is Mambo Tail Radio. Peace.